when they made Harrison Ford and the Dial of Destiny, the studio spent a reported $100 million making him look 25 years younger for key scenes. This is how you can do the same effect in Photoshop. Because it's a fairly complex effect, we're going to take longer than the usual two minutes. Start by duplicating that background layer. To get rid of the fine wrinkles and pores, go to the Filter menu and choose the Camera Raw filter. From the basic controls, scroll all the way down until you get to the clarity. And when you increase the clarity, it adds contrast. If you take it the other way and reduce the clarity as far as you can go, then it will remove all of those minor blemishes on the skin. Click OK. And he's looking a lot smoother. To get rid of some of the small wrinkles, go for the Spot Healing tool and drag it over the areas you want to get rid of, such as this corner of the mouth and these scars on the chin. You may find it takes a couple of goes to get it right, but eventually it'll get rid of what you want to lose. And we'll do these liver spots on the cheek as well. These marks on the side of the nose, and let's just tidy up underneath the lip again. Now for these deep lines either side of the nose. When we go over those with this tool, it gets rid of them completely, and that looks artificial. So as soon as you've done a stroke with this tool, go to the Edit menu and choose the Fade Spot Healing Brush. This tool allows you to fade the opacity of the previous operation. We can do the same with the line on the other side of the nose. Fade again. Reduce the opacity. And let's do the same thing with those bags under the eyes. We'll brush over them. Taking them away completely looks artificial. So let's use the Fade tool once again so that we get a sense of the bags being there without them being as prominent as they were before. This is an operation you have to do immediately after the brush stroke that you want to affect. Let's now tighten up that sagging jawline. Go to Filter and Liquify. Now, if you use too large a brush, you'll find you move too much of the draw around. Undo. If you use too small a brush, then you'll just create a wrinkly effect. Let's undo that as well. The key is to find the sweet spot of a brush just the right size so that you can push these pixels where you want them, in this case tightening up that jawline, without going too far. I recommend making a lot of small movements and building up the effect slowly until you get the shape that you want. As we age, our noses and ears coarsen, so let's reduce the slightly bulbous nature of Harrison's nose, again with this liquify brush. Let's make the earlobe a little smaller and let's reduce the size of the brush to take out those slightly pointy nostrils and click OK. Let's now address that wrinkly neck. We can use the spot healing tool to some degree to get rid of these dark shadows, but we may find we need to switch to the clone tool. We can sample an area of clear neck and use that to paint over the dark shadows we want to get rid of. And let's carry on getting rid of those dark shadows underneath that chin. And that slight blemish on the top of the chin. We need to add some shading back in, so make a new layer and set the mode of this layer to multiply, so it darkens what's underneath it. Switch to the brush tool and lower the opacity. With the brush tool, you can hold I to sample a colour. With a low opacity, we can now build up this shadow in small steps, both under the chin and under the side of the jaw. 
If we go a bit too far, well, it's a separate layer. So we can easily switch to the eraser tool and paint out that shadow where we don't want it. Let's now deal with the hair. And we're going to select the hair using the quick mask tool. Begin by choosing the brush tool. Double click the quick mask icon at the bottom of the toolbar. Now by default, quick mask paints masked areas as the name implies. We want to paint selected areas, so click on selected areas and click OK. Now press Q to enter quick mask mode or click the icon on the bottom of the toolbar. Make sure your brush is set back to 100% and where you paint, you'll make the selection. We're using a soft edged brush so we can easily paint over the whole hair area. If we make a mistake and go too far, we can just switch from black to white using the X key and paint out our selection. We can make a smaller brush to paint the fine area behind the ear and underneath the ear, and again switch from black to white to paint it out where it goes over the background. Keep refining the selection. When you're done, either click the icon again or press Q to exit Quick Mask, and that selection area will be turned into a regular selection. Make a new Curves adjustment layer and you'll see that that selection now becomes a mask for this layer. We'll start by reducing the overall brightness of the layer and let's now look at the individual channels. On the green channel we can reduce the brightness here. We'll need to take out some of the blue as well. And let's click in the curve of the blue to reduce it there and the same with the green. That's looking too red, so go to the red channel, click in the middle and drag down. And now we're getting the effect of Harrison Ford's original hair colour. We can put that away. Now because the visibility of this curved adjustment is set by its mask, we can paint on the mask in white to extend the visibility to areas we didn't quite manage to catch. If we find we've gone too far in some areas, we can switch to black to paint it out. And we can also use the smudge tool to smear this colour in the direction we want. And the smudge tool makes it very easy to control where we want it as well as where we don't want it. So we can smear the colour out of that background and back into the hair. And don't forget the eyebrows. Switch to the brush tool and with a small brush when we paint in white we reveal this adjustment over those eyebrows. And it's very easy to keep on adjusting the colour area in this way, painting it in and out. Because it comes with a layer mask, if we hold command on a Mac, control on a PC and click on the mask, we load the hair area as a selection. Let's go back to our adjusted version and make a new copy of that area and we'll drag it to the top. If we desaturate this and change the mode of this layer from normal to hard light, then it strengthens up the hair. That's going too far. So let's go to image, adjustments, shadows and highlights and here we can drag the shadow slider and the highlight slider to reduce the strength of that very strong hard light effect. Here's the original hair, here it is with that adjustment and it brings back a lot of definition to the hair. Let's have a look at the eyes next. Go onto our background and switch to the dodge tool. Set the range to highlights and paint over those eyes just to brighten up the whites, which adds to the youthful appearance. This can bring some unwanted red colour into the eyes, so change to the sponge tool and paint over this to desaturate those areas. We're nearly there, but it's looking rather lacking in definition. To fix this, 
on our adjusted background layer, go to Select Subject. And this should select Harrison Ford as well as his shirt. Go to the top and do Copy Merged to make a copy of the entire document and then Paste. Once again, let's desaturate this layer, which turns it to black and white. Change the mode again to hard light, and it's brought back some definition, but it's too strong. So go to the Adjustments menu and choose Shadows and Highlights again. Drag the Shadows slider to reduce the strength of the shadows, and do the same with the highlights. And by adjusting these two, then we can produce a stronger version of the effect. When you're done, click OK. That's still rather too strong, so let's lower the opacity of this layer, and round about there we get a good impression. If we scroll to the bottom of our Layers panel, this is the original Harrison Ford, and here's the more youthful version. All you have to do now is to repeat this process 30 times for each second of the film in which you want to make Harrison Ford look more youthful. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel.